All right, we have the uh, cow catcher has a lot of special views required for it. So we, of course we would stop with the front view and project the top and the right. Um, additionally, we'll need a projected view of the back. So we would have to select the right view in order to project the back view. Um, it also, we have that um, Point one offset on the trapezoid where we cut that into the face of the cow catcher. Um, that is a double auxiliary view. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to select auxiliary. An auxiliary view is a view that has a feature on any type of slanted face. So um, I'll select the front view, I'm going to select the right edge and pull down. Um, and then it is a double auxiliary, so this time I'll select the second, or that first auxiliary view, select the bottom edge, you know, I'm, I know that's on the top side, but that's actually the bottom edge, and then I'll pull that view up, and now you notice the difference between any of the other views, and now when we look at this face, um, that'll allow us to go in and dimension that point one offset. And so I don't dimension everything, I'll just include the word offset on there so I don't have to mention all four sides. Okay, of course I don't want the number on the object, so I'll pull it down. Um, on the bottom view, that's probably the best place, and all that first auxiliary is probably the best place to dimension the shell. Um, we probably really should have a bottom view, but um, bottom view would be uh, would probably clutter up the drawing a little bit too much. So I'm going to skip doing the bottom view and just put my shell on that auxiliary, rather than not have anything on that one auxiliary view. Um, we also need an offset section. So um, we'll select section view, select the top, and what we need to do is we need to draw a perpendicular line and there's a really small gap of where we want to end the perpendicular line and then come perpendicular to the angled face. So I'm going to come up here start drawing my perpendicular line and there's our perpendicular line symbol but I've got to stop it approximately in the middle and then I have to come down and get a second perpendicular line okay so that's going to be perpendicular to the front face and then continue and then pull sideways and I should get a nice clean slice um, off of that and that will allow me to do my 0.05 dimension and then I still need to do um, a detail view okay um, for the the size of the pegs so then I'll go back to place views detail view. Um, I like to just go ahead and take it off that section. Um, again, you can choose your cutout shape and is it jagged or smooth. So first pick the shape, pick the center point, and move it. And of course a detail view um, is going to be a different size so you should be including that and then of course you can you can change the location of the label you can move the center point after it's created and size it up so it's nice and tight okay of course we want that detail view to show up so that we can dimension um, we'll ha actually have three dimensions on that we'll have the length of the peg um, the diameter of the peg and the, the size of the chamfer. So there should be three dimensions on the detail view. 
but that's the views needed for the cow catcher.